Hello, and welcome back to the Postal Pleasures Channel. Uh, today we are going to dig back in to our giant bag of German stamps that we've been looking at over the past, uh, I don't know how many videos. Um, these all came from the giant uh, Goodwill bag that I got, um, and within that, um, a, an envelope just of German stamps, uh, maybe about a thousand stamps. I think this is going to be part eight, if I'm not mistaken, of this video, and I still have quite a few to come. Um, by the look of these stamps, I think we're going to have some really, really stunning designs. I think we're mostly dealing with um, early 40s wartime issues here, maybe some late 30s. Um, so that's when it really gets um, into some really intricate, bolder, uh, designs on the German stamps, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing these. I have very few, uh, relatively few of this period, uh, compared to how common some of the earlier ones are. Maybe not the earliest, but the you know the 20s and 30s are fairly common. So um, I'm really looking forward to digging into these. We'll start with this uh, wonderful uh, horse here, uh, semi-postal from 1943. It looks like. And uh, six plus four, really, really good. Okay, we'll start in the top corner here, as normal. I don't know if we'll get through the full stack, it's just so big. Here we have another semi-postal, a six plus 14. Looks like I have some stamps crowding in there. I readjusted my table so my uh, boundaries aren't exactly the same here. And here we have one uh, with six plus nine. Uh, looks like a woman letter carrier. I mean, we might have seen this one recently. It's been a few weeks since I recorded the others, so I don't remember for sure. These are a little more common, a little bit earlier than some of the others. Uh, so the large, of course, propaganda swastika there in the background. Uh, a six and a 12 of that set. Let's put them side by side. I don't know how many like sets we'll have this time. And here we have uh, 12 plus 8, um, looks like some kind of soldiers carrying rifles, maybe over time, different outfits over a period of time. Um, we saw a green uh, lower denomination one of this recently in a, in a different set. Um, I'll put it here for now. Keep going across the top. Now here's an earlier, this is um, going to be one of the inflation period ones. Just because it's a little bit different, let's jump to the other corner. I'm not expecting to get too many of these. Here we have uh, one that looks like a city scene. Um, I have looked this up before and I learned what those MMs mean, but I've forgotten since then. Uh, so if anybody knows, you know, drop a comment and uh, we'll share with the rest of us. All right, and actually, here's another one with the MMs. I'll put it there in case it's the same set. This one here, uh, pretty brilliant. Um, looks like it's got a little. Um, Maybe paper residue on the back, although it's an unused stamp. Maybe it just got stuck to something in a collection. Uh, 8 plus 4. I don't see anything that belongs with yet. There's another one of these. So in this case, we've got two used ones here. And then a mint one all set on top. And that's actually quite a nice postmark from 1936. This one's neat. I'm pretty sure I don't have this. And I am pretty sure that it belongs with that group. We've seen this a few times. This is a uh, train series. Put that there. I think there's maybe four stamps in that series. Let's see. I'm going to guess that this could be... Now the font's different, so it wouldn't be part of that set. Soldiers with an eagle above it. Pretty neat design. And here we have, um, looks like uh, something about children, so probably some kind of semi-postal to benefit the children. And I'm going to assume that these next couple go with it. So we have the 6 plus 4, 3 plus 2, and a 15 plus 10, and a 12 plus 8. Very nice. I'll do myself a favor and put these in order. I've got enough time here. If you don't like the time, you can fast forward or hopefully not jump away to a different video. The uh, my uh, 
statistics on YouTube have been pretty dismal as of late, but uh, maybe I've alienated a few people by doing so many German stamps all in a row, not having more variety. Let's see, 1942 with a horse, uh, Postal on Rider. Uh, I think we've seen this one or something very similar to it recently, 6 plus 14 semi-postal. I mean, I really can't get over just how um, amazing and, and detailed these designs are. Certainly not boring by any means. And I love this airplane. We definitely saw this earlier. I'm going to um, start under this horse here just because we're getting fairly far across. Let's see, a 6 plus 4... Uh, do I see anything that matches the design? I don't think I do. So let's go up here. And how far? I've got one more. We'll move that over just so I can slide one more in there when I get the right size. Okay, we've definitely seen this one too with the um, male coach. But which one does it align with, if any? I'm not sure. I don't see anything. So let's. Uh, just go here for now. And this one I'm pretty sure I don't have. Really, really nice. That is amazing. So, um, Johann Wolfgang von Goth. Uh, let's see. It has a date on it of August 1949. But, uh, oh, so this would actually be a post war. Uh, so, this is going to um, either be. Uh, DDR, early, early DDR, or um, Soviet zone post-war. Pretty neat. I'll put that again because I think it's a different zone. I'm going to put it over here. A different um, period where most of these are German Empire. So this horse one belongs with this. And let's see. We have a nice little, um, what do I call it, baby Zeppelin here. 75 uh, Fenning airmail. I'm going to put it under the train for now. Because it's similar period, I would say. Look at this one too. Um, this one's dated forty-three. Um, something about the young, oh young or ver or flinching. I, again, I, my German's not great. I recognize enough words to identify some things, but or get the gist sometimes. But uh, I'm always learning more, so I can now count to five. Let's see, where am I with this? I don't see anything that directly matches. I'll just toss it, uh, I'll toss it here. So here we have uh, another semi-postal. Uh, it looks like some uh, decorative um, statues or awards or something. Pretty neat. And here's another one. So we have the 6 plus 4 and the 12 plus 88. And here we have a uh, Hitler series with a looks like a feather a torch and a sword and another one so the first one was the uh, 8 plus 22 now a 6 plus 14 and a 3 plus 7 and now probably the big one a 40 plus 160 I'm not sure if there's more if it's just a set of four here we have another one of these so a duplicate and it looks like another duplicate. You know, we're actually doing really well on space. Another duplicate. So a full duplicate set there. That's wonderful. Uh, definitely I've seen this car in a fairly recent video. Pretty neat. I actually featured it, I think, on the thumbnail for the video. Because I thought the cars were neat going down that road, the forest road. Uh, let's see, there's a border around it, Duchess Reich, uh, probably similar to that group there. Yeah, in fact, it looks like it is. Let me move this one over a little. We'll put that side by side. There's a couple stamps, and I can't remember which one they are, uh, but in this period where the same design happens with maybe a different denomination or different color or even similar color over quite a few periods of years, you got to look carefully as to not misattribute. Don't ask me how I know. I eventually caught the mistake recently. So here we have another one to match this horse from the beginning. 12 plus 88. It's quite a big uh, surcharge there, 88. Fenning bringing it up to a full mark. 12 plus 8. There's a good chance I don't have this one either. RAD. I don't know what RAD stands for, but I will look that up. 
I'm going to, let's see, no, it doesn't match that. Who knows where it goes? I will put it with that one just due to its size, its shape. Oh, look, here's another RAD with a woman, a 6 plus 4. And I mentioned that we found this green one earlier when I showed you this one in a previous video, so now we have one of each in this video. And here's one that I most likely have never seen before either. Um, German Gold Schmiedkunst. I don't know what Schmiedkunst is. Um, three, 6 plus 4 as well. Pretty neat. And here's one uh, with a looks like an assembly of marching soldiers and some uh, radio towers most likely and it looks like it belongs to that series and actually the series I just mentioned that had maybe crossed some stamps in common across different dates uh, might be this series here oh, it looks like we have some more of this series so a 12 plus 38 <clears throat> and I don't know if you've noticed in a lot of my recent videos when I end up with a pretty consistent series or a nearly complete series of stamps, I generally put a slideshow at the end to show them all in order. Uh, so if that's something that interests you, I'll look forward to that because I'll most likely do it here with some of these. So 24 plus 74, a 40 plus 160 again, a 3 plus 7 again, what have I done here? A 12 plus 38 again, another duplicate. And another 24 plus 76, if I can get my tongs underneath it. There we go. And here's one I don't think I see very often. Um, it's, a, it's a worker sharpening a, a scythe with a file. Pretty neat. Uh, I would say that that almost definitely belongs as part of that set. So I'm going to move this one down, put it up there. <clears throat> and I know that this belongs with that one. And this horse, though, uh, this is wonderful. It's a horse with a foal, uh, dated, uh, oh, I'm going to pull it closer to my eyes, I thought I could read that. Yeah, 1944, 42 plus 108. And do I have anything similar to that? Not really. So I'll just put it here, because it's handy. And let's see, we have another duplicate here, but stark, stark white paper. Wow. And you know what? I think the, the violetish ink really um, makes the paper look even whiter. Here's one I doubt I have. 12 plus 8. Peter, pull it closer to myself. Rosker. I could be butchering that in my attempt to say it quickly. Put it in the top corner here. And definitely have seen this one recently as well. So we have another 6 plus 4. I will uh, put that one right there. We're still on screen with that. And here's another German Empire. So this is a very, um, I'll call it muddily canceled um, uh, I think it's an inflation period, but it's, it's I think very early. Uh, right before the inflation period, maybe. Yeah, right before, so it's some canceled ones from that. I don't see anything great in any of those three cancels. And it looks like we have some more of this series, so let me maybe move these two over. Let's, when I say these two, these two, these three over here, and see what we can put here. So we have a man with a pick, it looks like. It's definitely a series of different doubt workers. There's another one. Here's one again sharpening the file. There's another one with a pick. And probably this is the fourth that we'd be looking for here. Oh uh, yeah, actually we have two of them. Uh, the man with a shovel. Let's see. Do I what do I see the font that matches this? I think it's gonna be this series here. So let me just move these two over. So we have 8 plus 4 up top, a, 12, a 24 plus 10, uh, a 5 plus 3, uh, and a 10 plus 5. I'll look at that with the uh, light for looking for planes in the sky, I believe. And here we have some, some rockets. And I didn't even realize it. We just uh, ran out of stamps. So I am going to uh, dig a bit further and see what else I can come up with. I have some interesting stuff set aside. 
that I was going to do in another video. So these, I can only assume, you know, these say Hamburg on them. I think you can see it there. I can only assume based on the crispness that they have to be reproductions. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I, I don't just, they don't seem old by any means. They look like they were made yesterday. Um, but, you know, even sometimes reproductions are, are known to be a thing. Um, and I can at least attribute them, them to what reproduction they are. So uh, I will stack these uh, over here. I'm going to just kind of go across. I don't know how many there are. Got a four and a seven. A few more underneath. Let's see, a half. I won't, I won't bother getting them in order for now. But again, I'll put them in order in a slideshow at the end. A one and a quarter. And a three. Move my, I'll leave my pile right there. That's fine. I can work from there. We have another um, field post, this time with more of a traditional um, perforation than, uh, the, than what we saw in a previous video. And it's nice that there's some variety or complexity in these. Put that one there. And uh, we've seen plenty of this sort of thing recently. Uh, these are going to be uh, occupied in Germany post-war. So 10, 15... 25 and it looks like we have a little bit of Bavaria here um, I always enjoy Bavarian stamps so here we have a two fenning I'll just make a, a grouping here a, another two fenning of a different design a three fenning a five fenning a ten fenning and a twenty fenning so a fairly early set there. And this one's catching my interest. Um, Deutsche Post, uh, 700 year, 1948. Um, this is either again going to be uh, Soviet occupied zone or um, early DDR. Um, I can't remember if early DDR goes back to 48 or just 49, um, but I, you know, I'll set it over here and uh, we'll look that up um, Maybe right now. You know what? I'm going to pause my camera, look these two up that I mentioned, and uh, get back to you right away. Okay, that took me a moment to find because I was looking in the wrong place. So, correction, these are actually from the uh, British Allied Zone. And uh, this one is a uh, celebration of 700 years of a cathedral. And uh, I'm not going to hesitate. I'm going to hesitate to uh, give you a catalog value because it is uh, no gum but no cancel. Uh, and we don't have that in the German Specialized. We only have um, Mint Used and uh, Mint Hinged. This one here, though, is Mint Hinged. Um, a little over $2 in Mint Hinged condition. Uh, it would be about double that if there was no hinge remnant. Uh, so it's still really nice stamps and, and uh, so uncommon in my collecting experience that I didn't even know exactly where to look for them. So, really exciting. We have a couple more here that... Uh, are pretty neat. Now earlier we had a what I call a baby zeppelin and here's its counterpart but now I have completely misplaced it. I know there's one here somewhere. There it is, yes, and so the 50 and the 75 now side by side, same design. And then this one is, uh, is a similar um, airmail as well. I'm going to straighten that corner a little bit and uh, it's going to need a little more attention. It has another corner that needs straightening. Uh, but we see the undercarriage, the um, passenger compartment, I believe, of a uh, Zeppelin as well there. So that one's neat. So I've got a little more real estate in the um, in hopes of making it through here. Let me go back to the bag. And this is what we're down to. All right, we're getting there. Let's grab a bit more and see what we can do here. Let's see how many of these I get through. So while we're on the airmails, we'll toss another one right up there. We've seen this before. And I'm pretty excited for this. This is not an airmail, but it's a beautiful uh, two mark, was a way mark in blue. I really like it. Uh, too bad those cancels aren't a little more readable. Maybe with a loop I can make out a date or a, a town name. Here we have <coughs> uh, Germania. We can make out a time name here, although I doubt we're going to get the date. 
And here we have an eagle. I'm not going to try to organize these because I don't think we'll have too many. I will. I'm going to get into a bunch of these, which we've seen some of these before. I'm just um, spreading them out here real quick so I get an idea of what we have. And I'll start with the 100. Uh, this looks like maybe Lubbock yeah, from 1923. A little bit of a bleedy cancel, but I think that was pretty common with the inks of the time. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll try to work vertically here. I was going to go across, but I'll go down first. And then a 2. This one's got a pretty bad fold on it, but that will come out. It didn't crease, so that's good. Um, Shimmins uh, is at least the last part, if not the whole town name. The, the last part of it, maybe. Actually, based on the arc, it's probably the whole name. And let's see, is that a... Let's look at the back side of that real quick. That is, I believe, I'm going to hold it up to my light. Yeah, that's the Lajan style. It's a Type 1 watermark. Whereas this is the Network watermark. Well, let's see, I'll put the 300 there. Network watermark in Mint. 400 is the Type 1 watermark. And let's see, a 1,000 here. Still see that. A 2,000. Now the 1,000s and above will all be the Type 2 watermark. And a 3,000. A Sohol, Paul von Hamburg. Here is uh, Frederick. I'm not going to get his last name because I can't read it, but a Hamburg cancel from 29, I believe. Here we have one of the Posthorn series and another one of the post horn series these are technically different series you'll notice this one has the white writing and this one has um, a slightly different shade of pink uh, writing and then hyperinflation unused uh, 8,000 over 5 so we've seen most of these in earlier videos they're just you know really it's stragglers in the in the bag no more concentrations like we saw here with all the late uh, 30s early 40s so you know, I'm really excited. This is the kind of stuff that my collection needed. Um, so most of these are going to find a home um, within my within my collection. Um, curious about these, but I have every um, sense that they are, are, are forgeries or modern reproductions. Um, but again, let me know what you think. And, you know, let me know uh, what your favorite stamps are from this lot. Um, so I think this was, I said, what, in the beginning of this, it was episode 8. Um, I think we might wrap it up in episode 9, because I think it's just what's left in this bag, and that should be a fairly short video. Um, as much as I love German stamps, it has been a long road, so I'm actually looking forward to, uh, to getting on to something different just for a change of pace. I'm sure a lot of the viewers are as well. So um, if I haven't alienated you with eight German videos over a short period of time, uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll try to produce greater variety in the future.